So hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this video today. Today it's gonna to be time to apply a little bit of liquid fertilizer to the low cut turf. So on this low cut turf here, I wanna give it just a little bit of food here as we're starting to get into that spring season. So in general, spring is gonna have kind of a flush of growth that happens, so it's not a great idea to apply a whole bunch of fertilizer before that flush because then you're really going to be mowing a lot and you're going to have grass that's just growing inches almost every day. So for me, I don't really like to do that, but that's kind of where these liquid products come in. So I'm going to be using the 15015 here from Simple Lawn. And the reason why I'm not including any phosphorus here is I have an overabundance of that already. From my soil test, I know that I don't need to apply anymore right now. I already have an overabundance of that. If you have not done a soil test, I highly recommend it still. You still have time to do it here before you start applying fertilizers. Otherwise, if you have not done one and you're looking for a balanced fertilizer, then the 16-4-8 here is probably going to be a choice for you. It has nitrogen, a little bit of phosphorus, and then a little bit more on the potassium side. So either of these will really work, but it depends on your situation and what you want to use. So these are a little bit different than granular because they're putting out a little bit lower rates of nitrogen, so we would apply it more frequently. Or really the best thing that you could do is pair these types of products at certain times of the year with a granular program. That's kind of what I'm going to be doing in my backyard this year. I'll show you more about that when we get to that point. But for a little low cut turf, I'm going to be applying more liquids more frequently. And with this, I'm not dumping a whole lot of granular fertilizer on there and kind of waiting for things to break down. I'm targeting these liquids so that I can just keep applying a small small amount and keep applying it frequently so that the grass stays kind of consistent there on the way that it's growing. So this system is very easy to use when you get these bottles. You're going to have these hose end sprayers that you just connect the hose to and of course we have our water and then the on for mixing the product in with the water. And basically that's all you have to do is everything's pre-mixed for you. You just get the hose and you spray it. So nothing real complicated there. The uh, one bottle of this will cover 3,200 square feet in this hose end version. People have asked me if you can take this product and put it in a backpack sprayer, and yes, you can. There's different directions here for putting it into a backpack sprayer, but if you wanted to open this and pour it out and mix, say, five ounces per thousand square feet into one gallon in your sprayer, you could do that if you wanted to. It all depends on what you're wanting to do, but in my opinion, the whole point of this and the reason why it's so simple for most people is just hooking up the hose and going that way. Now a few things to note when you're applying as well is you don't want to be applying these in the middle of the day on a really hot day. So keep them to the morning time or the evening time when you're applying liquids because we're applying directly to the actual leaf of the grass and while that fertilizer is sitting on there, if you're really in the heat of the day, then you can have a little bit of risk of burning. These are pretty low rates as far as nitrogen goes, and that's the whole reason why they're a little bit lower too, is to make sure that we can safely apply directly to the leaf and we're not going to burn anything. But I'm on a cool day today here, so it's about 10 a.m. I'll be fine with this. It's not really supposed to be too warm today, and it's not really supposed to be very sunny either. So just watch your weather a little bit. Keep that in mind too. Now remember this is supposed to cover 3,200 square feet, so you just kind of have to practice a little bit to get your timing right on how much is to apply, but you're pretty much just going back and forth in a slow motion here, and you're spraying the grass pretty evenly. I've usually just gone with that method, and I've always gotten pretty close on getting that 3,200 square feet covered with that bottle. Nice thing too is that you can turn it off at any point, move your hose out of the way, and that way it's pretty easy to just work with so that you're not trying to apply while everything's on. You can just turn it off and that works really well.
Now I like to just make sure I wash off the driveway or sidewalks or whatever just with the water feature just to make sure that in case there's any product that got on there I'm not going to stain anything so I just turn on the water and just wash it. Okay so that was about a thousand square feet so I should have had about a third of the bottle gone there pretty close to that if this whole bottle was 3200 so pretty close on the application. Next thing I'm going to do is apply the root hume which is humic and fulvic just try to get those nutrients moving into the plant as quickly as we can and also this as a soil treatment as well. So I'm going to take that bottle that I used to use with the fertilizer take the top off of it use that ready to use sprayer just put it right down into this bottle and start spraying the same thing. Pretty much the same method there just move at a decent pace along the yard and get this thing applied as evenly as you can. So with those lawn foods, you can let those sit on the grass leaves there, and that's why it's important to apply before the heat of the day or after the heat of the day. And that way we don't have any risk there of having the actual fertilizer sitting on the grass blade in the hot sun. It's not a bad idea to get some irrigation on this, but let the fertilizer sit on those grass blades for a little while first. So same kind of thing with this root hume, you can let it sit on the grass blades for a little bit and let that fulvic work. But then we want to wash the humic down actually to the soil layer. It's a good idea to maybe do the irrigation a little earlier here or apply maybe before you're going to get a little bit of rain to wash it down into the soil. Okay, so the applications are done and it's really as simple as that. It's pretty easy with those hose end sprayers that's kind of built in. That's kind of the whole thing with this. I know this is probably targeted a bit more towards the smaller lawn since those bottles don't cover as many areas. They are putting out some gallons in different things soon. I know I've talked to them about that. But for right now with the actual hose end thing there, I think it's probably more targeted towards the smaller areas. You could go with some granular at a lighter app if you wanted to. You could go with some Next products if you want the bigger gallons right now. Kind of up to you what you want to use, but I hope this has given you a little bit of information. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.